Hey, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Unlocking Excellence with your main man, Coach Eric Schwefel, coming at you with a story today. Today, it's, it's, it's a really, really good one. It's one of my favorite. And this story is all about losing your temper, controlling your temper, why it's so important, important to remain aware and to not say things while in a heightened emotional state and especially a quote unquote negatively influenced emotional state. So with that being said, I want to introduce this story to you. It's called, called Control Your Temper and it's one of my favorite. I've been telling it for a few years and it really, really hits home, um, especially if you are one who tends to get a little bit angry and might not be, might not know what they're saying whenever they're in that anger, right? And might actually regret it a little bit later. So there was once a little boy who had a very bad temper, and his father decided to hand him a bag of nails and said every time that little boy lost his temper, he had to hammer a nail into the fence. Now, this little boy, he didn't think too much of it. He thought he was kind of stupid. But he decided, okay, I'm going to do what dad tells me to do. And he went to school. And then when he came back on that first day, the little boy hammered 37 nails into the fence. 37 nails. On the second day he came by, he hammered 42 nails into the fence. And the next day and the next day and the next day, it kept on happening. He kept on filling and putting more and more nails into the fence. So the boy gradually began to control his temper over the next few weeks. And the number of nails that he was hammering into the fence after that initial increase, they slowly started to decrease. And he discovered it was easier to control his temper than to hammer all those nails into the fence. So finally, the day came when the boy didn't lose his temper at all. And his father told, he told his father the news, excuse me. And the father suggested that the boy should now pull out a nail every day that he kept his temper under control. And he looked at him, he said, but dad, I just spent all this time putting those nails into the fence. Why would I wanna take them out? He said, son, just trust me. So the little boy, he, he wasn't throwing or he wasn't nailing nails into the fence anymore because he was able to control his anger. Every day that he controlled it, he removed one nail. So as the days passed and the young boy was finally able to tell his father that all the nails were gone, the father took him outside by the hand and he led him to the fence. And as they led to the fence, he asked his son, do you see all these nails in the fence? And he said, no, dad, they're all out. He said, right. They're all on the floor. They're bent. They're bruised. They're broken. They can't be used again. And he said, yeah. He says, do you see what happened to the fence? And he said, yeah. He said, you have done well, my son, but look at the holes in the fence. The fence will never be the same. The nails will never be the same. When you say things in anger, they leave a scar just like this one. You can put a knife in a man and draw it out. It won't matter how many times you say that I'm sorry, the wound will still be there. So you see, y'all, the words that you say do affect people. The sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. It's not true. People can take things personally. People can hurt in words. The tongue is like a sword and words are like the swings that you take with that sword. Moral of the story, control your anger and don't say things to people in the heat of the moment. Don't say things that you might regret because some things in life you're just not able to take back. So if you enjoyed this, my friends, please, please, please go ahead, like, and subscribe the podcast, leave a comment. And if you're about it, share this with a friend. I don't ask for much. I just want to be able to get this thing out there. Love you. You're unstoppable. Have a great day. Peace.